Welcome to Think About It. Good to have you with us. Today, um, hmm, maybe you could call it a, a confession. Um, I want to talk about me. And I want to talk about my three worst enemies. My three worst enemies. Um, certainly, um, enemies are someone that we need to pay attention to. Uh, that we need to acknowledge because they can be very harmful to us, uh, very detrimental. So today I'm going to talk about my three worst enemies, my three greatest enemies, however uh, it better suits you. And so I'm going to get ready to share it. My three greatest enemies, me, myself, and I. Wow. Those are the three most dangerous people in my life. Me, myself, and I. And isn't it amazing how, how much effort we put in keeping our enemies outside of our homes? Bars, alarms, cameras, Guards, we protect our homes trying to keep enemies out and my three greatest enemies living with me. Isn't that amazing? Cameras don't help. The bars don't help. None of that. I was reading an article and it talked about some things that was tough on me. And it says that... Um, me, myself, and I, for me, um, has problems with control. And you ever known people that just have to have control in the situation? They have more, um, they, have, they think they have less anxiety by having control. And the truth of the matter is, is that you generate more anxiety by trying to have control. And then the Bible says some things to us um, it talks about having self-control. Now, here's the part that really got me. I didn't realize that by not having self-control, I was out of control. I didn't know when to back off. You ever tried to change people that don't want to change? You ever tried to help people that didn't want your help? How you just simply had the control have control and you want people to change. You need to change. You got to change and you got to change today. That's out of control. So me, myself, and I had to learn and am learning at my age is that you simply can't have control over external things that you can't control. Okay. Another one was, do you struggle with always trying to make everything perfect? You're trying to get the absolute unequivocal best out of every situation. Everything has to be perfect to the point of sabotaging your own happiness over things that aren't that major. They aren't that major. They don't control your life. They're not a life and death situation. But for some reason, if it's slightly out of order, a slightly off your kilter, if it doesn't meet your expectations, then you have a problem with it. And it bothers you. Me, myself, and I. I, I need to do a better job managing those three enemies, me, myself, and I. Because the truth of the matter is, they cause more problems than anything. And they're constantly living in my head rent free. Isn't that amazing? I'm not even making them pay. They're just there doing their thing, me, myself, and I, striving for perfection, in everything and avoiding uncertainty. How can we live this life 
and avoid uncertainty. You just can't know everything about everything. But oh man, Jake wants to make sure um, he's got things under control. Want to make sure that everything is just right. Don't want no uncertainty in my life because that can cause me anxieties and problems. And the truth of the matter is, I was causing my own anxiety by not being able to manage myself. And so I leave you with this passage of scripture because it was interesting. It says in 2 Corinthians 1, 7, for God gave us a spirit, not of fear, but of power and love and self-control. And it is that self-control that helps me understand I can't always be in control. So no self-control is actually out of control. Hmm, how painful is it to find out that your three greatest enemies are mine, are me, myself, and I. If you can relate to any of that, maybe it'll cause you to think about it.